Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Arjun Chen aka LSQ here, and today I'll be reviewing a Amagadon gaming keyboard. It's called MKA13R. It's RGB Ego. Wow. Cool. So let's unbox this. MKA13R gaming keyboard. Oh my god, look at that. It's really like every key has its own protection. There's a plastic cover on each key. I'm really impressed. So you don't have to worry about any dirty stuff on your finger that it may put it on your keypad. No, you don't have to worry about that. It's really well protected. I mean, look at the plastic. You can use the cloth and simply just swipe it and it will look like a new keyboard again. And I also see something on the F1 bar until uh, the F4 bar. There's actually a sticker. I, I don't know what it is. I'll just stick out and show you guys. Oh, it's a software download. Wow. I wonder what is this for? They actually have a website for you to download the Amagadon keyboard software. Okay, let's see how many wires is inside the box. I mean, inside the plastic. There's only one of it with all the customizable lighting effect. There's only one of it. Okay, looks pretty clean. The whole keyboard and the wire is, uh, comes in white color. Oh, you can actually tie it up. Wow. So you can, I, I think it's for you, it's easier for you to bring it along, to bring it out. Okay, so I found out this plastic inside the box. So I wonder what is this for? I'm gonna check with the box first. They call it as a hot swap able modular mechanical switches. I think it's for you to I'll switch on the fly during operation, giving them instant and less customizable option for their keyboard. What? You can customize your key as well? I mean your key cap as well? What? Oh, so it's pretty simple. There's an instruction over here so you can check it out if you don't know how to install it. And of course, I will show you guys how to install it from here. Okay, so I will show you guys how to take out the keycap here by using the key puller. It's very simple. You just push it, you will hear the tick sound, and then you just plug out. Simple as that. For this little guy over here, you need to use this one. I think it's slightly smaller than the red color key puller. So this one will be a little bit harder because it's very tight. I have plugged out a little bit, just want to save time, so we just take out like this because it's very tight. Okay, so right now I have plugged it back in because I found out that uh, these are actually back up for you if you accidentally broke your escape key. So you will have three replacements here, three little guy will to re replace them and also with these two key puller tools for you to take it out easily and put it back easily as well okay so on the back of the keyboard i bet you guys will wonder how do i change all the lighting effects or how do i change uh the key button so you don't have to worry about that the instruction is behind the keyboard so let's try something okay so what you see right now is the first lighting effects it's really plain and um, I'm gonna tell you guys how to turn off this stuff and brighten up and go fast and changing the lighting effects. Alright, so first of all, I, I'm gonna test on the FM Plus print screen button to let you off your keyboard, off all the lighting effects. Okay, so right now, how to turn on? Just simply 
press Fn and insert cap then you will go to the next lighting effect okay so what if you say you don't like that color so I will move on to this color and you say the color is like the changing effect is slightly slower so I want to go even faster then you have to press Fn and your right key so we change a little bit faster okay so I'm gonna move on to the next effect okay so this one is like you press every single key then we we'll go this way like really every single key I bet you guys like this next one okay so this one it will be slightly um, more obvious when I press the fast forward key and slow motion key all right Fn the right arrow key it will go faster yep it's good even fast all right so this is the fastest so what if you want to go slower okay let's move on okay so this one is like a cycle repeat the color moving around on your keyboard okay so you can change it the speed here you see it will go a little bit faster and now you see this is very super slow motion okay move on okay so this one when you press every single key then you will get it to the color it's like spreading to your whole keyboard like this it's like a wave move on okay this is like um changing the color on each keycap Okay, so for this one Wow Move on Oh, it's like a <laughs> This is really like an ocean wave Okay, so I, I'm gonna make it faster Oh Okay, looks cool. Oh, so back to normal again. And I found out there's a on the fly keycap. The on the fly keypad function is on the escape key. So when you press, let's say I don't like this color, I want to go back to plan white again. So what you're gonna do is press Fn and escape. Then we will reset back to normal. Wow! I didn't even know even a keyboard also has this kind of customizable function. Wow! Oh, so when you press Fn and the delete keycap, you will get to see different color. Oh, so you can change color anytime by pressing Fn and Del, the delete keycap. Alright, so let's say you don't like the lighting effect You don't like the light on the keyboard on each keycap Because it's, re it's so bright and you think it's very ugly But you need the lighting to play it in a darker room Okay, so right now I'm going to show you guys The 5 profile over here on the numpad FM1 So you get a minimal lighting on a particular key cap like WSD or QWER so let's go to profile 2 so you get only these few keys that has color on top of it 3 4 5 so it will keep it at number 5 so number 6 there is nothing else so you will have 5 profile minimal profile for you to use alright so that's a review for the MKA13R RGB Eagle from Amegadon 
Special thanks to Megalon Malaysia for sponsoring me this amazing gaming keyboard. I think you guys will really like this one, right? So it's Urgent Chain AKLSQ here and peace out. Let me press another one. Okay, one, two, three. Bye.